Alright mate, it's nice of you to finally rise and shine out of your pit. I haven't seen you for a couple of days. Have you got my cone placement plans ready? Because we have a massive season ahead of us. Yeah, you have? Really? Why? Why, why, why? Because you've been busy with something else, haven't you? Like these three. I mean, who are they? I mean, don't get me wrong. The ginger one makes a killer coffee, but no idea who they are. But I did hear them all last night. So? They're your girlfriends. Really? What? All three of them? Wow. I mean, I struggle to keep up with one. Three? I mean, what do you have to do? Take it in turns? Have one a night? Bit jealous. All at the same time every night. You're a legend and I've no idea how you do it, but you need to tell these lovely ladies to bugger off. Because me and you, mate, have got to get to work. I have been grafting my ass off all summer and I've put a team together that I think can take this club on a little bit more. So let's go. Hello, I'm Bood and welcome to episode seven of the Road to Anywhere. As always, thanks for not going missing. Thanks for sticking with me. I love you long time. If you feel kind and generous today, don't forget, hit the thumbs up. Get involved in the comments. I always reply eventually. Subscribe if you're new and hit that bell and you'll never miss anything I do. And I'm loving this series, loving this save. Um, I've had a few technical errors due to my little son, which I might talk about <laughs> in the live com. Um, but honestly, thank you for returning down this long road to anywhere. But right now we're still in Slovakia. We won a cup last year. And I really wanted to kick this team on. At least get them higher up the league and see what we could do in Europe. Um, Business-wise, I probably brought in 1.2 million, spent around a million, um, lots of frees. But I was excited. Honestly, super excited, but excited about a lot of stuff, including this. Yeah, I made it even better. And I won't, sh I won't bore you with it, but I expand it even more as the season goes on. End up with nine coaches and more physios, and more scouts. And I was going to scout the hell out of the world if I could. Now, of course, it's the 15th of September. The reason being, um, making deals, sorting my staff out. Um, I just wanted to get as much in place as possible from my starting point. So I've played eight games and we are fifth, which is pretty respectable. 16 points, six points off the top. Slovan Bratislava have an amazing team. So is Ternava and the others above us, to be fair. It's a good little league. I enjoyed it last year, but what I want to do bits this year so yeah the, the league started and i've shared that with you because you're going to find out anyway because i've got this to share with you our european campaign if you want to call it that uh, made a bit of money oh i was happy with that um so we were in the europa league but we we're in the qualifiers we drew Mulder, beat them 6-1 it's the craziest thing ever got beat 4-1 two mad games mad games um next we drew them i'm not gonna try and pronounce it one two nil and i felt really positive until we lost 3-1 and got beat on penalties. But, I mean, I'm never 100% sure on how all this works. It was a little treat for us because we got put into the Europa Conference League qualifiers. Many more qualifiers. So I've had neat games in Europe and not actually got into a proper European competition. So we did earn a few quid. 600 grand, I reckon, I think. Um, but we started off okay. We drew 3-3. Then we won 3-2 away on TV, buzzing with that result. And then we drew CSK Sofia, got battered, then drew. So we're out of it, which is a bit disappointing, but really want to concentrate on the league, if I'm honest. Now, the money ain't too bad. Um, like I said, they give me a bit of budget. I got about a million quid, something like that. Made a million quid, spent a million quid. Um, and we still got money in the bank. And they were quite a wise club, really. They won't release it. And I've still got some money I could spend on a free signing, but I'm pretty happy with the squad as it is right now. But, you know, that's a good thing. Maybe we can pump that into the facilities again and um, save it for next year, because I do want to stay next year, hopefully. Obviously, I want to be in that championship group at the end. I want to do better in the championship group at the end, because we did only win one game in that group last year. Um, but if I can just push them up and get a bit better. Now, one thing you might notice is the number one striker in the Media Dream Team 11 is mine, is new, and one of the reasons you should probably turn on African leagues. Because I had a couple of cracking Africans once for Oldham, the Oldham series, was it? Stockport? Something like that. It's a cheap and quality. I'm going to run through the squad by position-ish. 
and I've promoted a couple of youth players. We had a couple of good youth intakes and snapped a few up. And I wanted to give them a chance and I've sold a few players. I might share a couple of them with you, if you've got time. But when it came to the goalkeepers, my goalkeepers were old. I think I released one and I got a few pennies for another. Um, so I've signed two guys on a free. Roberto Jano, who's average, but he's just a backup. But he's got a lot of potential and he's Slovakian. Um, and we've signed this geezer, Niazan. I, I like him. He's going to be my new starter. On to my left backs. And we, of course, have Elkin Ruiz, who has a stellar season this year, I tell you. Um, signed him last year from Ecuador, top little player. And we've got Dominic, who was on loan last year, but I had to sign him for a future fee of 170 grand. On to my right backs, and I've sort of got three. One thing you might notice as well is I have a lot of players who can play multiple positions, which is very helpful. Um, always going to be helpful. Now, uh, Mr. Luptat has been promoted from the youth team in the second season or third season. Um, Augustin Yahur is Argentinian, 24 years old, signed on a free. And then we have Luca, who again was a player I had on loan last year. I think he cost me 26 grand. <laughs> on to the centre of Arsenal, technically got five. Um, started with Martin, who was promoted from the youth team. I think it's his second season at the club. Um, Milo, signed on a free. Good little player. We've got Edo, signed on a free. Good little player. Got the Croatian league on. Always a good league to have on. Uh, we've got Christoph, bit of experience and the new club captain, 29 years old, signed on a free. And Luca, you might remember, was a player I had on loan last year, but he was opting out of his contract with them. Um, so we snapped him up. He's probably going to be my first choice now, though, to be fair. On to all my central midfielders. And um, we've got Zavara, who was signed last year. He's only 18. Um, Philippe. Cherenko, who are promoted from the youth team, he's all right, bit of backup, play defensive midfielder. Uh, Zupanak, he's my biggest signing. He's most of the money I spent, 700 grand. Cheapest chips. Um, Kocha, the Ecuadorian assigned last year, good player. Um, we've loaned in Sebastian Davis. I mean, he's cheap as chips with his loan money. Um, decent player as well. Sandy, who assigned last year, he's 29 years old, good solid midfielder. Um, and we've got Oliver, who did well for me last year. Better than I thought he would. I mean, he is not the best. On to my left wingers. Um, and these two guys were my wingers last year. Sergio played on the left, Thomas on the right. Um, Sergio is decent. He did well for me. Can he do it again? We'll find out. Thomas was decent. Um, coming into last year of his contract, though. And has just recently, I think about five days ago, suffered major freaking injury seriously gutted about it three months he's going to be out for with a broken ankle now he says he was on a night out with his girlfriend they left the restaurant went down a dark alley towards the car park and he i mean i don't know if i believe him but some shadowy figure appeared he couldn't see his face with a metal bar and smashed his ankle in out of nowhere i think he was probably pissed and tripped up but i'll take him for his word Let pipe next to the Ankle bone. <laughs> so my right wingers are youth players. Couldn't really find someone. And I'm all about that this year. Let's give youth a chance. This is the kind of league I think you can do that. Even with high star players who are no relative to your team. But there's some really good ones. We've got decent attributes. We've got Richard, who's good. And we also have Stefan Luca. So of course, I am switching to my tactic with the one up top. Um, Play some beautiful football and once I can get the Reds around here, I'm hoping for good things really. So I've got three strikers, not four. I know Sebastian can cover there. Um, Jan is a bit unhappy, but he's a youth player from the academy. Look at him. He's not. Um, Island Hoyt. Now you might not notice, but Island played six games for me last season. Didn't score a goal. And you're probably thinking, can he cut it? I mean, I like how he looked. He's got great potential, but he couldn't score last year. This year, he plays a ton on the left wing. He plays up front. Wait till you see what Mr. Island Hoyt gets up to. Um, but the intended first starter is Roland Sanogo. Signed from some random team in the Ivory Coast. Honestly, get them African leagues downloaded and available because there are cheap ass players out there. 150 grand. And I think he looks like a baller. Now then, when it came to pre-season, because I was playing so many European games, I thought, I'll, I'll sort them out eventually. It just kept coming. So I only played one friendly, and that was against Union SG, a team 
I really like. If you know, you know, because I did do a series of them earlier this year, um, which I honestly love. If you've not seen it, go and check it out. So you've seen the league table, you know we're fifth. I thought I'd show you the results at this point before we move on. We started brilliantly. Three wins. I'm thinking, I am on to summer. Look at this. Look at this. Love the jubbly. Uh, and then we drew with them. I'm thinking, yeah, man, we're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys. And then we got battered off Ruzum Barok. Five one they're a good team but I was i was in shock a little bit uh dunstrader a good team beat me one nil but i bounced back with two victories this is my assistant manager's favorite first team 11 i'd definitely say it's not mine and things will change but i do have a lot of flexibility players who can play fullback center half central midfield behind the striker switch wings up top on the wing so i was really happy with this team really happy with the business i love it at clubs when you don't have a ton of money and you have to get freebies and so on and really have to search um, but can it all come together because if they can figure out my tactic and they can come together with it we could have some fun here we are now it's the 1st of January and we are in the winter break and I just always jump in and see how we're doing I'm getting used to this going on little ski holidays although it was ruined this year I mean don't get me wrong CCPO's girlfriends are beautiful but they're in a brain cell between them and it's really annoying it's like I feel like a spare part, to be honest with you. It's annoying me a little bit. But anyway, here we are. We are third in the league. I would be very happy with that. Get ourselves some guaranteed European football would be lovely. But, you know, it's a tough little league. We played Tanava in the first game since you last saw. And we got beat 2-1. Um, but then we're on a cracking run. 3-1, 3-1, 4-1, 3-0, 3-2. Close game with them, you know. That was close. I feel like we're catching them slowly. Um, the team that battered me, battered them, clean sheet, uh, beat Dunstrade, that was quality. Uh, and then that, that was a bit disappointing, but it's decent, isn't it? Here's the squad arranged by average rating. And as you can see, they're all on holiday. It's the winter break, although they're all banned from skiing. I don't want any more injuries, any more accidents, please. Um, but yeah, pretty impressed with a lot of them. And so honestly, like I said, the football, that 4 4 2 is good and it can win you in certain games and at certain levels or whatever. But I think if I can get teams to use my tactic, some of the football seems prettier to me. That's why I've used it for so long. I like a bit of pretty football. And we're doing really well. Um, Ireland, six games last year, no goals. This year, look at him, and a lot of that, he's played on the left wing. So, yeah, really happy, to be fair. And the lad on loans done pretty well for me as well. Um, me right back, free right back from Argentina has been really good. The young midfielder I signed last year, squad player. But that's another thing. I've got a lot of good little squad players. And I think I've said this before in other saves, I've got a lot of youth and I've had a lot of success with young teams. I think so. I know it's a computer game, but I think they play without fear. So we're now back from the winter break. So nothing's changed in the league, but they have quite a big break. And I wanted some games. So in honour of one of my favourite all-time subscribers, Thargoff, the Hungarian, he's a legend. Gives me so much information. Um, I went on a little tour to one of our neighbours, Hungary. Um, didn't play the biggest teams. You know, I wanted the guys fresh. Playing some football. And we finished off the regular season pretty well-ish with four. Right, so we've dropped a little bit, but they are good teams above us. But what I've enjoyed this year is that even in games against them, some of them they bad us, don't get me wrong. There's been games against them where we maybe drew or lost where we looked like we could take it on, get something from the game. And then there's been games where we've beaten them. So I feel like we belong up here, but I do want to hopefully push a little bit more. But now we're going into that championship phase where you're just playing the top six. And last year was a shit show, wasn't it? We won the first game and then drew and lost all the others. So I was hoping for more. But was I going to get it? Because at the tail end of the regular season, we kind of had gone off the boil a little bit. I mean, I won my last game, but we went four games without a win. We did draw three of them, but um, I was a bit worried, maybe. I mean, I don't always like making excuses, but there was a few issues. Um, my goalkeeper got injured. There was a tiredness and so on. But we need to get serious. Again, just a quick check in on the squad. Um, the form has dips a little. But I still had faith in these lads. A lot of youth, um, goals-wise, so look at him. I mean, Ronald is a cracking player. And when them two on the team together, and I've, I've tried to do that. Um, when we're young front four are all together, they're pretty good. Um, 
but he's just way more prolific. Now here we are, it's the 5th of May and there's two games left to play in the league, but like last year, do you remember, there's a little cherry on top of the FM cake in the cup. Would there be one this year? No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't. But we gave it a really, really good go. And to be honest, like last year, I started off with B team and I accidentally picked an A team. <laughs> right. This year, I stuck with a B team for the first three games um, and it, it did really well, as best I could. And um, when I got to the quarters, what now? Let's go for this. Let's try and get to that two legged semi, which we did. And we drew the big boys in the league, Slovan Bratislava. We were going for a domestic double. Now, we knocked them out last year, if you remember. But I mean, the league. This year felt like we got a little bit closer to them in the league. And that was a one off game in the cup, and I don't think they really showed up for that. They showed up for this, and they beat us 2 1 both games, but they weren't completely dominating us. So they've gone on and won it, and look who they played in the final. We could have well won that. And look where they played. Why did we not play at a stadium? They played at my stadium. Imagine that. Cup final in my own stadium. We definitely would have won it. And of course, they've won the league. All right. Um, but there's two games left to play. And it's quite interesting, really, because we've got Ruzem Barok, who battered me. Was it 5 1 early in the season? And we went on to beat them 3 0. Um, we're playing them at home. All right. And if we beat them at home, we'll be on 63 points. And if Tanava win, they'll be on 59 points. So we'll cement runner up. And I think that's a cracking achievement. There's a little twist to this because if we lose and Savannah win, then there's only a point between us going into the last game, which would be against them. I know I'm full of conspiracy theories, but how many times do I say the game, I think, throws things up to make itself more entertaining? It does, doesn't it? You've got to agree with me. Um, but it's fun though, isn't it? So the best bit though, look at my championship group. Win. Win. Through with them. Fantastic. Beat them. 4-1. Through with them, so, uh, three, two, three, one. I've only lost one, and we've got a couple of issues. My really good Argentinian right back isn't fully fit. Uh, Sergio is suspended. Oh, I'm all right with that. Cause I'm quite excited because I'm going to get to play front four of youth. Do you know what else I was annoyed with? This has some great ones. Like you've seen some of the high potential players that have come through, and I've given them a chance, and then we had a poor one. Absolutely freaking dire. I am not giving any of these a contract. So welcome to the football over stadium. Now, I'm, I'm not 100% happy. I like my young front four, but I've had to play the right back who's not 100%. I've put Fila one at centre half because I've had to. And we've got a backup keeper because of injury. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we can wrap this up and get runner up sorted so here we go i mean we've had some good games against season we've batted them quite a few times but it's that that five ones in the back of my mind obviously if we lose this i don't want to we're at home and um, we've still got a chance of getting runner up here we go lukak Ooh. but i want him to get the job done ruiz there that left back really come into his own this year probably settle down more on it i think he's leading the assist charts in the league at left back Great. Honestly, I'm falling in love with a lot of these players. And if we do ever move on, now I want to stay next year. I want to have a crack at this. They're too young to leave. And there's some growth in this team. I mean, there's some players here. It depends where you go. If we can, if we move somewhere and step up, there's a couple I'd like to poach. Now, Island Hoyt has been fantastic. And I signed a new contract with him halfway through the season. He had a really crappy minimum fee. He wanted another crappy minimum fee. So he did that old trick you do where you just walk away. You leave it a day. Then you go to his agent and it'll say resolve issue and say, no, I wasn't happy with your flexibility. Go on, go get in. There he is. And then you can go back in and remove what you want. Remove the minimum fee. Give him a few little extras to sweeten the deal. And we did. And we had two years on his contract. But then after that, I was thinking, I should have put some kind of minimum fee in actually. Risk losing him maybe. But then if I do move on at some point, I would have poached him, couldn't I? Anyway, here's a Kocha, a little Ecuadorian to Luke Pat, a little right winger over to Zupanik. Back to you. Oh, there you go. He might be limping. A little Argentinian right back, but he's a ball. We can build on this. These guys are getting a little bit older. All clicked in. I might not make too many changes. I've got a couple of players that will be leaving. Contracts ending. And I might move one or two on if I can. And it'd be exciting to see what I can get. Can we really put a title challenge up next year? So, technical errors. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Right? I've already filmed this entire episode and played this game and I won it 5-1 <laughs> anyway I came home yesterday 
ready to work. The wife was working from home. I've got an injury, can't sit up. And she's working, she was in a meeting on uh, Teams upstairs. So I couldn't talk to her. I've come home, got it all filmed. And then she come out of a meeting. So I said, do you want a brew, love? And she went, yeah, um, I've got something to sell you. I was like, what? Went, well, Jackson was in your room singing into your microphone. I was like, okay. And then when I took him to nursery and I put his gloves in his pocket, I found that, that was in his pocket. I was like, all right, put it back, it's fine. Yeah, okay. And then I put all my stuff into the editor, right? And it, my audio was ruined. And I couldn't figure it out at first, and I don't know why I hadn't looked. I looked down at my microphone. It's turned it round, so it's like talking into the back of it. And the gain knob here, it turned my gain all the way to the max. And I couldn't repair it. So I've had to go, I'm going to have to go through it all again. I'm going to have to hope a win. I didn't, I didn't, right? But the minute we are, although we've got an injury. So Thomas Andrade has come on, who played great for me last year. He's done all right this year. His contract's running out and he's got, he, he takes up a foreigner spot. I'm thinking of giving youth a chance. Ooh, just as he scores, an absolute wilder. Still, still, there might be some good foreigners out there. And I, he's the one I'm thinking I could probably cut because I've got a good young right winger who's done really well for me. Because I've got Hoik who can play up front, maybe should I keep him, put him on the left permanently. And wow, wow, did they hit both posts? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. I don't know when I'm going to get it out though, I'll be completely honest with you, because I'm going to try my best because I'm going to have to play the ass out of this. Now, I'm, I'm ahead of myself. This is, even even though I'm a day behind, I'm probably a day or two ahead of whenever you're going to get to see this, if you watch it when it comes out, because I want you to get ahead of myself. I'm rafting my ass off over the weekend. And because I'm going away this weekend, it's my wedding anniversary. Uh, I've been with my wife 20 years. I still love every bit of her. I've got two kids. Um, but we've been married for 10. And our anniversary is on the 7th of March. But we're going to go away for the weekend. Good save. And we were going to go together romantically. And we thought, you know what? Let's take the boys. Let them be part of it. So we've um, rented in a house in North Wales. And we're just going to have a couple of days mooching about. Go on a few adventures. See a castle. Nice meal or two. And um, celebrate our 10 years married. I don't know if you noticed in them cup games. And probably why I burnt my keeper out is if he had one game and he was terrible. And I just lost faith in him completely. And then I've been forced into having faith in him and he pulls off a couple of worldly saves. All right, come on. If this ends up 5-1, I'll be buzzing. I swear on my life, my kid's life, it was 5-1. I won't lie, all morning I've been thinking, I've got to redo it. I've got to redo it. But if I lost, I'd have lost it. I was also thinking if I lost it, it might be a bit of drama because I'll be honest with you as well, Savannah lost their game, so the last game became unimportant. And a little bit of me was also thinking, I did lose, and they don't. That'll be the live comedy. It might add a bit more drama, but you can't pick the drama, you can't pick the story, or my story, I can. The silly bits. When it comes to football manager, I am straight laced. It's gotta be. It is what it is. And um, I've done that before when the game's crashed and I've lost. I won't replay it and replay it till I win. I know some people do. I won't do that. I don't feel like it, it, it's been right. I don't think. Anyway, each to their own. But 4 0 will do me. Are they going to score? Are they going to score? They have. This has a chance of a 5 1 repeat. Right, come on, let's get a 5. I think that'd be just it, that'd be justice for me. For my son destroying my microphone. I swear to God, honestly. The audio sounded. I like, mean, audio's not bad. I don't think it probably could be better sound like I was I'm here piss off this looks no way I think every future freaking save I have I'm going to have some African leagues I'm going to have Ecuador running in the background snap myself up some little players Croatia's always a good one as well but yeah this game's dragging out a bit now let's end it come on 5-1 will do me 5-1 5-1 bloody hell Bad feeling about that. No, five two. So fair enough. It's it's nearly perfect. Well, it's all over now. Five two. Nearly, nearly did that. I want to see what happened with Tenerva, whatever they called. Oh, they drew. They got beat two one in a previous universe. Um, so they drew two two. So you know, fair enough. It is what it is. We've got Europa League football, and now we've got to play them. And what I did last time was I picked a B team. I'm, I'm honest. I'm being honest with you to give guys a game and we got battered. I don't know if I want to go through that again. I might try and beat them this time. 
Let's see if I can. Well, I am absolutely buzzing with that. Went for it. Why not? They give us me some early pressure though. Got a penalty. I put an Nizan, my keeper back in. It's not fully fit. Saved it. And then we just destroyed him. It was brilliant. They came back into it at the end, started to play quite well. And then Sonogo just got a 95th minute. And my budget's coming. Now, it's a bit less than it has been. But I'm kind of all right with that. I'm going to let a few players go. Um, I might try and sell a few if I can. I don't want to make too many changes. And I don't need too much because anything I do bring in, I don't really want to spend unless I've got the money and I find the right talent. I'm going to try and go down the free route. I only need a few pieces. And really, they're kind of squad players, I think. I'm all right with that. So the team that finished second in the second division has to play a playoff and they won it 5 to an aggregate. Meaning the team that finished 11th have been relegated and Ruzum Barok won it. The European playoff. So they're going to Europe, not to Narva. So I'm buzzing. Can't wait for Europa League. That's what I want. Not only maybe put up a closer title challenge and close the gap a little bit more, but Try and get into an actual European competition. Even if it is the conference, I want some proper football in Europe. And I started to get some games under my belt here. Um, I know we won the cup last year, but I just think if we could do a bit more, it'll improve my reputation. Um, because I do definitely want to do one more season, but then this is the journey, man, the road to anywhere. And that's when I'll realistically, realistically start thinking, what's out there for me? And it could be anything you never know. So I'm, I'm, I'll put a good year in, good bit of work. And like I said, I will try my best to play hard get through the season and try and get things done because i am going away for the weekend and if, if i can get it out the next one for the weekend i will if not it'll probably be monday but i will try and i also can't believe i'm not on a favored personnel list yet but maybe i will get there next year even though one of my cup medved is he had a great year for me last year i got 200 grand for him i think he scored about six goals this season wherever we went um but forget about that as always <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Get involved in the comments. Subscribe if you're new and hit that bell. And you'll never miss anything I do. And if you really want to support my channel a little bit more, keep the wife off your back. because She gets on it sometimes. And you can always become a patron. A link to my patron is down below in the description. Little as a pound a month. I would appreciate that and love you forever. And hopefully I'll see you next time. For episode 8, whenever that will be. Don't go missing now. I'm off to a beautiful Slovakian cafe to meet the CCPO. He wants me to meet some people. It's probably his girlfriends. Let's go. So then, you're treating me to dinner at this lovely Slovakian cafe. We deserve it. We had a great season. Runner up. We should be really, really proud. And I'll be honest with you, at the start of the season, I wasn't holding up much hope with you. Having three girlfriends, it's a lot to deal with. But fair play to the girls. They haven't been too much hassle on. They are nice to look at so you said we're meeting someone is it them we're meeting no who a new bobby guard brilliant have you got all the bobby yeah i can't either who sorted out the bobby guard susan the secretary I don't like susan me bit of a cow so where's the bobby guard is he here where where Are you taking the piss? Who's this? Little Larry. No shit. Christ, what's he going to protect us from? A pack of chihuahuas? You right, Larry? Yeah? Talks as much as Big G. Him, doesn't he? Christ, you want some dinner, mate? Come on. What's that, Mr. Wolf? Where are we going? But to cause chaos, of course. But this time, it's different. See, we've been targeting all of Boots' friends, and the CCPO has been a calm source of comfort throughout. It's time to change that. Nothing sends the CCPO off the rails like a broken heart, and I believe it's time to demolish it. Bombs away! <laughs>